Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for the introduction and thank you for having me uh, with this uh, forum and the panel with uh, Mr. Tosser and uh, Dr. Ja, an honor. Um, I in, uh, have been active in India for uh, quite a few uh, years now. Uh, started with actually with Nakpu, uh, working with Sevadal Mahila uh, Mahavidyale. And I'm happy to see in the audience quite a few of the friends and family uh, who have joined the talk. Um, I'm also associated now and active with the University of Pune and uh, Ella Foundation. So those are the groups that I'm working with in India right now. Um, I'm going to take up from where Mr. Thosari and Dr. Jha um, have essentially set the stage for forests. What I'd like to bring home to you, especially to you as a group of doctors, is what we call ecosystem services. Ecosystem services are something that are free. The environment gives it to us free. The air we breathe. Whatever we have around us is free. We don't pay for it. Many a times we simply take it for granted. And this can become a problem from the point of view of exactly what Dr. Jha has pointed out, that if we take these things and we continue to exploit them over and beyond what they are able to sustain themselves, the whole thing is going to come crashing down. Or as uh, Mr. Thosare said, the aircraft without the rivets cannot continue to fly. That's exactly the point with wildlife. Um, I'll come to you from the point of view of wildlife and the ecosystem services that we receive from the forests and the wildlife and which we take for granted. And um, <clears throat> for example, I'm working right now with my uh, PhD students, Swapnil Kumbhajkar in Jaipur. And uh, what you can see here is a very unique uh, situation wherein the city of Jaipur has almost completely encircled the Jalana Forest Reserve. We call it the Jalana Leopard Reserve because of what it, uh, of, the, of its major denizens. Uh, what you can see here is the corridor that leads up to Sariska. But what I'd like to talk about is how does Jaipur profit from having a forest in its midst? How the, do the citizens and how do your compatriots, the doctors of Jaipur, enjoy having leopards live amongst them? Now, when we talk about leopards, we always say, wow, it's a conflict. Well, let's look at it from a different point of view. For example, we know that urban areas create heat. They create great heat uh, mountains. You can clearly see on this graph that wherever there are urban areas, because of the buildings, the roads, and everything else that we put in, the amount of heat generated is much higher than in the forests or the rural areas. So if we take a look now and we see the various cities of India, you can clearly see where the heat is really having an impact where you will have heat waves, where you will have uh, the human population impacted by the amount of heat generated within the cities, by the cities, by the human population. And by the way, I'd like to add to what Mr. Thosre and Dr. Ja said, is to bring to your attention that science has declared the present era as the Anthropocene, meaning the human era, the Jurassic the, uh, the other areas that we know as part of the dinosaurs, well, we are now the dinosaurs. We are the ones who are now who have now taken over Earth. And we are the ones who are exploiting it, but we can also enjoy it. So if we take the situation of this like of the seed sink, coming back to the story, what we can clearly see from Jalana. And this is a satellite picture, and this is what I'm working with also with my friends who I'll mention in a minute from uh, Ahmedabad, um, <clears throat> is showing clearly the difference in temperatures between the city of Jaipur, which is in purple and red. This is a satellite picture of the differences in heat in uh, say Kelvin. And what you can clearly see is Jalana, which is much 
significantly, I can say, cooler. And it's not only the heat that Jalana is pulling in. Jalana is also pulling in pollution. It's taking up much of the carbon and all the other exhaust that is coming out from the vehicles, from the industrial area, which is just on its border. And it is essentially a sink for human waste. And this is what, this is a service that we are getting for free from a forest that exists in the middle of a city. So decision makers, please take note. Also, carcass disposal. All of you as doctors know exactly the problem of carcass that pile up in the environment. Many of the municipalities lack resources to get rid of all these carcasses, especially out in the wild, especially around villages. India has a problem with carcass disposal because 20 years ago, India had a huge crash of all its vultures. All the, most of the scavengers of the Indian skies have disappeared. You have a problem. We have a problem. And it looks like the ones who are turning, are coming to fill in that gap, fill in that void, are the leopards. They're the ones who are feeding on the carcasses. They're the ones who are removing them from the environment. They are the ones who are preventing the spread of disease to humans. So it becomes very important to understand that where we have lost the vultures in India, the leopards are filling in at gap. We have to thank them for it. And I'd like to take you to an even more prominent and more, um, <clears throat> um, I should say, really stressed for doctors. Uh, we have just published this paper in Oryx, which, in, which is an international journal of conservation, um, where uh, Swapnil and our volunteers in Jaipur went out and collected scats, 152 scats, and we analyzed them for what were the leopards of Jaipur eating? What were they feeding on? Well, it turns out they love dogs. They love the feral dogs which roam the streets. 42% of their diet is feral dogs. So, or stray dogs, whatever we wish to call them. Actually, most of their prey is feral. The environment, the jungle itself has actually very little to offer these leopards. It's the dogs and the cats, and to a certain extent, the cattle and the goat, or the primates which sustained these population, this population of leopards in Jalana. Now, we all know that dog bite is a big problem in India, especially in India. And um, what you see here, this cartoon from the Jerusalem Post, I posted it here because a couple of years ago, when our Prime Minister of Gibi Netanyahu visited uh, his friend, uh, Prime Minister Modi, um, one of his assistants and a journalist of the Jerusalem Post were both bitten by dogs on the streets of Delhi. And that's why it came up as a cartoon, as a kind of a headline in the Jerusalem Post of Beware of the Streets of Delhi. Um, <clears throat> my student, Swapnil Mbochkar, myself and our friends, uh, the GIS experts from Ahmedabad, Abhinav Mehta and Shreya Rakhulia, uh, we are now finishing up a chapter on the subject of the ecosystem services the leopards are giving to the city of Jaipur. Now, this is a random cutting I have taken up from the internet um, showing the problem, this is from the Times of India, um, showing the problem of dog bites, disfigurations, rabies, and the in Indian numbers is it is in the lakhs, in the hundreds of thousands. It's not something that can be taken lightly. So when we can, if as you can see from the previous paper, we are able to calculate the 26 leopards of, Jaya, of Jalana. How many dogs do they take annually? And how does that contribute to Jaipur? Well, lo and behold, the answer is, it is tremendous. I'd like to uh, just mention that my uh, 
axis on the, the y axis is long. So you have to read this in the hundreds and the thousands and the tens of thousands. We have most of the major cities of India on the x axis. In red are the neighboring cities of Jaipur from the state of Rajasthan. And what we can clearly see is while Jaipur is in the hundreds, in the low hundreds of uh, dog bites per million residents, Varanasi, at the other hand, is almost at 100,000. You have the, all the other cities, if you wish to know where Pune is, or Mumbai, or Jodhpur. Um, I don't have the data for Nagpur, by the way. Uh, getting this dog bite data from the veterinarian services of the municipalities is really problematic. Having tried to get it, I can tell you the newspapers are the best source. They give all the data there. So when we talk about this, this discrepancy between Jaipur and leading up to Varanasi is thanks to the leopards. This reduction in the number of dog parts, the spread of rabies, disfiguration of the human population, death. I even saw a cutting where it said five children died in one day from dog bite. So dog bite is something, and I suspect that you as doctors have come across this not once and not twice, more than we have, because we are the ones who are in the field looking at what is happening. So the GIS team, what they did was to essentially take this data and try and predict it for the next 15 years. And what we have here is what would happen if there, were, there was no constraint on the dog populations of Jaipur? And the answer is, we would have about 71,600 dogs on the streets. But when we throw in the predation rate of the leopards, this brings it down to about 59,800 dogs. That is almost 30,000 dogs which are removed and is an ecosystem service, which is given for free, which is a service to the human population of Jaipur, and it is taken for granted. No one has taken into account that this is what our forests are giving us, because we only highlight the conflicts. A person is attacked. Why is that person attacked? There should be an analysis. Has that person intruded into the territory of the tiger or the leopard? Our leopards, look at Borivli, Sanjay Gandhi National Park. It's the, I suspect it's a similar story. It's just not been analyzed. So if we look at what we are getting for free, we will understand that our forests are not only important culturally, philosophically, or for our mind. And Dr. Jha gave a very good rundown on the different aspects of saving the forests. But here is another very important reason why we need to save our forests, because of the ecosystem services that they're giving us for free. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And that uh, leopard.